Hey everybody, this is Colin Gelfer with Atrium. And I'm here today with a quick industry perspective on ad sales. Atrium is a consulting partner that's really focused on helping customers take a data-driven approach to CRM by leveraging technologies like Salesforce.com, Tableau, Einstein, and Slack. And one of the areas that we're really focused on is ad sales. And US digital advertising is expected to grow to $200 billion by 2022. And, and this really takes on many forms. You have search advertising, which is projected to increase uh, approximately 18%. You have banner advertising, uh, which is projected to have the next largest spend at a growth rate of 10%, certainly have video advertising growing the most in 2021 with an expected growth rate of close to 19% and mobile advertising. That's expected to reach 70% of advertising spend by 2024. And the buying patterns have been trending in this direction for years. And COVID has certainly accelerated this. More businesses are now becoming ad publishers banking apps, gaming sites, larger online retailers, going beyond the traditional digital ad publishers like TV, streaming, and news publications. The rapid acceleration and growth in digital makes competing for marketing spend much more difficult. High-end agencies and advertisers issue RFPs and expect white glove treatment and demonstrable ROI while New advertiser entrants are popping up all over the place and they expect quick and easy turnaround for ad spend. So how do publishers compete? Well, the ad sales team need insights to prioritize their engagement in daily activities. Oftentimes AEs are gold on the specific advertiser or agency booking targets. Throughout the year, the AEs are asking themselves, how am I pacing to these goals for my advertiser and agency relationship? Who is having less spend this year versus that time last year? If an advertiser changes agencies, what does that impact on my goals? What's the delta that I need to make up? The best AEs are also trying to proactively manage the overall agency relationship with their company. When they talk to an advertiser, they need to know what other advertisers in that industry are doing with the publisher. How successful are those campaigns? And what does my high value inventory look like? How successful have those past RFPs been? And if your company does upfront, they're also asking themselves, are the advertisers gonna fulfill their upfront commitments? Who's not pacing as planted? How do I ensure the upfront is met? What if your ad sales teams had these insights within their CRM to prioritize and action their day? getting out of 100% reactive RFP mode. The whole intent of data-driven CRM is to enable account executives to proactively manage the advertiser and agency relationships to maximize revenue potential and really deepen those relationships. As publishers mature their data-driven experience within CRM, companies begin to look at predictive insights. Like what is the likelihood that this campaign is underperforming? Will they make, you know, will there be a make good requirement, for example? Um, we're also seeing this trend of advertiser self-service, especially in the SMB and local markets that want to connect with broader advertisers in a self-service manner. Which of these inbound leads are actually going to spend? Which of these advertisers have the highest ad sales spend potential? These insights and more are really intended to maximize not only ad sales revenue, but optimize account executives integration with agencies and advertisers. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at info at atrium.ai. And thank you for joining.